The Pinpoint News Tracker takes you to Smithfield now, where the Stillwater Viaduct has been closed since March. The Department of Transportation is trying to repair the 80-year-old bridge as quickly as possible, but nearby shop owners say the construction and detours are slowing down business. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is there live now with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom. Yeah, Susan, the bridge behind me here is closed right now, but what you can't see are all the businesses along this road that claim this closure is taking a serious bite out of their business. Maybe the sign's not clear enough. Local businesses open. Business has dropped a little bit, probably in the vicinity of 30%. Janine Iannucci co-owns the Blackies Bulldog Tavern on Washington Highway. She says since the Stillwater Viaduct was closed about six weeks ago, drivers have turned away to avoid detours. That means less money at her business. It's certainly hit the pocket a little bit, and we're just trying to come up with some different things, um, different ideas to possibly make it even more worth the trip. And of the drivers that do make the trip, she says plenty have mentioned the detours. A lot of the regulars that do come from that side have said it's a little bit more of an effort to come here now. The Department of Transportation says the 80-year-old viaduct was in need of repairs. They're using a new strategy to finish the $9 million construction project by the end of the year. Janine wants more signs put up for her and other businesses so people know they're still open. We're doing our best to plan ahead um, and hope that we can continue with our business that we have and not lose too much more. And the DOT tells us that the work they are doing on the bridge behind me here, the strategy they're using should actually save them about nine months of work, meaning that the road should open up by 2013. Reporting live with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.